Okay, we'll call the meeting back to order. It's Thursday, August 17th, 2023, Ross Board of Education regular meeting. If you could, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, we'll move on to uh, number three. We'll review the agenda. Uh, Dr. Kunkel, the floor is yours. Yes, sir. Under the highlight. superintendent section, we just have one highlight tonight, uh, and that is a new uh, school fee schedule for our uh, students. So that will go into effect for this school year, and there's some personnel changes. So uh, the new the new uh, additions have an asterisk, which you've seen on the on, the, uh, on your packet. Uh, so those are the highlights for my section. Mr. Castator, you want to talk about the treasurer section? Yeah, before before yep. we do that, uh, just a couple of the highlights for the uh, the new school fee. Mm -hmm. One is the athletic fee. The other one is at fine arts. Mm -hmm. What was the re what could you just fine arts was went from 150 to 100. Yep. And the athletics is down to 300. dollars Okay. And that third sport is free. Gotcha. For our families. Uh, Mr. Castator on the treasurer side. With uh, a couple of normal monthly reports and then two items of note, the Benelogic agreement contracts. Benelogic is an um, online platform that we currently use for employees to do their health insurance electives. That's included in our uh, package with Butler Health Plan. Now that we're leaving Butler Health Plan to go to a different insurance program, we'll have to have a separate contract with Benelogic. So we've been working with them over the last month to make this transition. This is just the actual contract documents that we need to have for them and then the second thing under letter d uh, we have to appoint each year a, a delegate for the osba conference in november for the annual business meeting so we'll need to approve someone tonight to uh to be that delegate for ross do you need an alternate also or usually uh two okay. yeah a primary and alternate okay does anybody have any questions uh mr kleinfelder about the agenda no mr. Snell? nope this is one Okay, can we, can we have a motion to approve tonight's agenda? Can we have a first, please? Motion. Mr. Chanel, can we have a second? Second. Mrs. Webb, could you call the roll, Mr. Castator? Yep. Mr. Kleinfelder? Yes. Mr. Chanel? Yes. Mrs. Webb? Yes. Mr. Van Winkle? Yes. Okay, we'll move on to number five, uh, July 20th, um, 2023, board minutes. Can we get a first to approve those minutes, please? Motion. Mr. Schnell, can we get a second? Second. Mr. Kleinfelder? Mrs. Webb? Castator? Mrs. Webb? Yes. Mr. Schnell? Yes. Mr. Kleinfelder? Yes. Mr. Van Winkle? Yes. We'll move on to six, which is a legislative report. The floor is yours. Looks like we have a report. Fancy. I, yeah, I, I mean, I do. And I, I have to thank uh, Butler Tech for putting this together. Oh. So That's nice. they, they kind of keep a running tally on things. Um, really, um, there, there are several items like in this, but um, I think one of them that particularly impacts Ross would be obviously the biennium budget was passed um, and is going into effect. And um, we're going to be seeing a little bit of an increase mm -hmm. um, in our, in our uh, foundation dollars from the state with that. And then there's... Uh, just several other items that are you know either still in committee or have been passed by one one branch and not the other yet um so we're just kind of uh waiting to see what happens i know that the taxes have been um a huge uh, topic as of late in house bill one um there is it has been proposed to kind of rewrite um the, the tax system and, and i know like particularly for Butler County, it's it's like year 22 that they're looking at, um, but the new uh, the new proposals that, uh, you know, they kind of factor in a three-year average, so, um, but that's, like I said, that's kind of stuck in committee right now, so, um, but that's, that's it. Does anybody have any questions on the legislative <clears throat> report? If you guys do, obviously you can email uh, Mrs. Webb. They were in recess for a while, but now they're back at yeah, it. Looks they're, like it. Yeah, they're back. Okay. Any questions, Mr. Kleinfelder? No. Nope. Mr. Schnell? Nope. Okay. We'll move on to Butler Tech Report. Uh, the floor have, is yours. 
All right, we had a meeting Tuesday night. I gave everybody a copy of the student success uh, report newsletter for August. Uh, a lot of information in there about the, mostly the fair and uh, starting back to school at the meeting. Um, where they honored three retirees, Tammy Lewis, Frank Wright, and Fred Hurt. Uh, those at Ross will probably know Frank Wright as the van driver. He picked up all the stuff, delivered it to uh, Butler Tech. He visited every school uh, in the county almost every day. Uh, Frank was famous for checking with the cafeteria people when they were going to have any kind of special lunches or anything like that, uh, uh, Thanksgiving dinners, and he would make sure that he always did the delivery at the appropriate time. But I always told Frank he had the best job in the district, got to visit every school, and uh, I wanted his job when he retired, but he waited too long, uh, but uh, he'll be missed. Uh, they gave a little enrollment update. Um, uh, on where they're at, they still turned away about one third of all applicants. Um, uh, and anybody that uh, said that they were still undecided, they, they called people in June, July, and August to try and figure out where kids were going to be so that they would have a, uh, a good handle on it. Uh, they were working very hard to expand programming so that they can accommodate hopefully all applicants someday. Uh, in the future uh, with the expansion that I talked about last month with the Miami Airport uh, or the Miami um, uh, Advanced uh, Manufacturing Plant and then with the uh, avionics and uh, airframe technology that they're going to have at Hook Field in Middletown. They're looking to, uh, uh, they think that's going to add 300 more spots so they're going to slowly eke into that uh, amount that they turn away. The uh, uh, legislature also passed uh, a law that is going to allow uh, career technical campuses to allow high school students to enroll in adult ed programs if uh, allowed. Their Butler Tech's going to look at starting out hopefully in the summer of 24. Um, this will help where they are full. For example, welding is a very tough program to get in. Um, They'll give a kid an option that he could either go college credit plus during the day and then take welding at night with adult ed. Uh, they're still working out all the EMIS data about how it's going to be funded and tracked and that kind of thing, but it has been approved uh, through the legislature. Um, they appointed uh, Julie Schaefer to OSB as the delegate um, for the Capitol Conference this fall, and that's all I have from Butler Tech. Did, Keith, has there been any more talk about, I don't know if you would know this or this would be a Brian Martin question, but I think it's Butler Tech. They were going to do some welding. They were going to try to use the bays at, at Ross and Talawanda. Um, has there been any more talk about that? So I believe that we currently have that at our high school. There are bits, but it's embedded into uh, another class. It's not a standalone welding class, yes. but well, our students it's, are have exposure to it. At least it's an option. Yeah. To start. Mm -hmm. yep. uh, Andy, do you have any questions for Mr. Kleinfelder? I do not. Mrs. Webb? Um, no, I, I, the only thing I would, a question I had about the kind of blurring the lines with adult ed and, and high school students, um, it's not called CCP, it's called, I, I forget. No, I meant they could take CCP during the day. That's well, adult ed classes, but my, my question was because like right now, like with CCP, you know how like students are limited like to 30 hours total. I said, can they go to school all day and then go to, you know, an adult, you know, program in the evening and how would that, you know, impact like EMIS or impact funding? And um, I don't think they have an answer, but they said there was at this point like no like limit with how much you could take. I don't know the details yeah. of that, how they're going to work it out. They're still. It makes sense that if you can go to College Credit Plus at Ross High School and get college credit, why can't a student try to get adult ed at Butler Tech? They're just trying to expand the options right, for kids. Right, right. It makes sense. That's um, a good option. Yeah. And then the other thing in the magazine has Jeff Corbin here again for 30 years of service as a Ross mm -hmm. retire. Yeah. Apparently he didn't retire. I guess he's running the family farm now. Yeah. He probably wishes he was still here, maybe. <laughs> All right. Okay, we'll move on. Any, any public participation, Mr. No, Castan? Okay. Uh, we'll go right to superintendent reports and recommendations. Yes, sir. Just two items. One, uh, 9A is, is that's the school fee schedule for your approval. 
and then 9B, Schedule A through E. I'd like to block both those two together. Okay. Can we have a first under superintendent, superintendent reports and recommendations? Items A and B blocked. Can we have a first, please? Motion. Mr. Chanel, can we have a second? Second. Mrs. Webb. <laughs> Uh, Mr. Castaneri, could you please call the roll? Yes. Uh, Mr. Schnell? Yes. Mr. Kleinfelder? Yes. Mrs. Webb? Yes. Mr. Van Winkle? Yes. We'll move on to your section, Mr. Castaneri. Yeah, so we'll block A through D together as well, but we do need to we identify block, we who the... We can't block D, though, right? D's got to be separate, I think. Because we've got to nominate somebody, right? Yeah. Let's, let's, okay. do, a, let's so do A through C. Let's a do through C. <coughs> Under, under Treasurer's Reports and Recommendations, A through C. Can we get a first, please? Motion. Mr. Chanel. Can we get a second, A through C, please? Second. Mrs. Webb, could you please call the roll? Mr. Kleinfelder? Yes. Mrs. Webb? Yes. Mr. Chanel? Yes. Mr. Van Winkle? Yes. Raise your hand if you're going to the conference and you're a school board <laughs> member for Ross Local Schools. Please raise your hand. When's it, when, when is this conference? It's you two. Could you please raise your when hand? Is the, what day is the meeting on? Could you please raise your hand if you're going to the conference? Okay, we got a delegate. We got a delegate. <laughs> we got a delegate, Mr. Kleinfeld. Well, I already agreed to that once before. Uh, you agree official. with it over the phone. Oh, now it's official. Now it's official. Right. It's a Monday. It's That's like Monday mid-afternoon, I think. Is the... It's a four-hour four session, right? <laughs> Yeah, four know, hours they scan you they do scan your badge you yeah. have to go to the I know you have meeting to. i would highly recommend you go to the meeting and sit back towards the back part front row mrs webster's uh, daughter was there one year i sat right by her i think as the delegate sometimes it can be good Mo yeah most of the times it's very very boring but you do, you'll, you'll you'll figure it out all right, so with that being said, we now we have the delegate, so we can approve Mr. Kleinfelder as being the delegate. Mm -hmm. Can we have a motion under the Treasurer's Reports and Recommendations? Item D, can we have a first, please? Motion. Mr. Chanel, can we have a second? Second. Mrs. Webb? Mr. Castaneri, could you please call the roll? Mrs. Webb? Yes. Mr. Kleinfelder? Yes. Mr. Chanel? Yes. Mr. Van Winkle? Yes. Okay, board comments. Mr. Kleinfelder, we'll start with you. I'm uh, proud and happy to be the OSB delegate for <laughs> Ross Local Schools. I look forward to that meeting and doing a great job representing the school district in Columbus, Ohio. <clears throat> I don't have any comments. Mr. Chanel? Uh, just congrats to teachers, administrators, uh, parents, kids. It's a pretty successful start of the year from, yeah. by all accounts, so that's all I got. Mrs. Webb? Um, I, yeah, I just want to welcome everybody back uh, and hoping for another successful school year. Um, and I don't think I, uh, or we had an opportunity um, earlier oh, back yeah. in the spring, but I did want to acknowledge like, like Mr. Korb and thank him for his contribution to the Ross schools and um, all the years he spent here in the ag program um, making an impact. So that's it. I have nothing to say. Uh, Echo, Andy, Chanel, I mean, everybody, hopefully everybody's having a good beginning of the year yep. and seems very positive so far, so mm -hmm. hopefully you can continue that. So that being said, can we have a motion to adjourn the meeting? First, please. Motion. Mr. Chanel, can we have a second? Second. Mrs. Webb, Mr. Castor, could you call the roll? Yep. Mr. Chanel? Yes. Mr. Kleinfelder? Yes. Mrs. Webb? Yes. Mr. Van Winkle? Yes.